McCarthy and it's time to Karenize. Today is Monday, Physical Health Day, and today I want to talk about something that I think is real foundational to our health and something that most people that I know really either aren't aware of or just don't do a good job with, and that is water intake. Water intake, pure filtered water, is so important to every system in our body, every cell in our body. And since I have really been focusing on getting enough water in, I do notice a big difference in a lot of facets of my health. One of the biggest ones is my eyes. I don't have good eyesight. Um, I had an eye doctor one time tell me that I might consider a seeing eye dog. He was kidding, but I mean, I literally cannot tell that the big E on the chart is even an E without my glasses. I have pretty bad, pretty compromised eyesight. Um, but my eyes were really dry all the time. Um, I mean, I would wake up sometimes and my eyelids would literally be glued to my eyes. So painful and so scary. Um, and I'd have to try to get some lubricating drops in there and it was just not good. And I'm sure that that was even, um, more affecting my eyesight than if I had been hydrated. So, um, I have noticed that when I get, I need about two and a half to three of these a day. When I'm getting those in consistently, my eyes are not needing those lubricating drops. They are not gluing to my eyelids during the night, that type of thing. But there's all kinds of things that hydration affects. Anyway, we need pure filtered water. Now tap water, tap water can have so much in it, you guys, that it's really not a good thing to, to drink. I mean, if you have no other choice, it's better than nothing. But for instance, I have a, a crafting thing that I do and we use these little jars of chalk paste. It's kind of like paint, but it's made out of chalk and it can start to dehydrate because it's chalk. And we rehydrate that by adding distilled water, not tap water, because tap water has things in it that can cause that chalk paste to mold or mildew. Now, if it can do that to the chalk paste, what is it doing to our bodies? <laughs> so filtered water, filtered water is great. Now this is a plastic container. You wanna be careful with plastic containers. Plastic can actually leach toxins into whatever is inside them. So for instance, like the water bottles that we get um, at the store or whatever, um, that's not high quality pop, pop, I can't talk, plastic for the most part. And especially, I, it just makes me cringe when I see them sitting out in the hot sun in the summer. So you can grab that case of water as you're walking into the store, but it's in the hot sun and that causes that leaching to take effect. This, let me get it right side up. I hope I can get it to focus. You can see the triangle there. And inside the triangle is a number two. Below the triangle is the word hope. And sometimes it's H-D-P-E instead of H-O-P-E. That means it's a high quality plastic. That is not gonna have anything that's gonna leach into the contents. So look for that kind of high quality or a glass or metal container for your water so that you don't get those toxins from plastic. That's number one there. Um, let's see, I had a total brain warp there. We did the bottle, we did the water, oh, I think one thing that was really keeping me from getting my water in was being a dainty lady and taking a little sip like that and not getting enough sips in. So I had, <laughs> I just got it all over my nose. Um, I had a, a gal who was a physical trainer, I think she was, talk about getting your water in one day. And she said, if you will do this, four to six gulps, rather than sips, you'll be more likely to get your water in. And since I've started doing that, definitely, I mean, I can sip like a, a fourth of this if I want, I mean, not sip, gulp, a fourth of this if I really want to. If you don't like water, add something nutritious in there. Add some lemon. Now be careful with lemon because if you're not using a high quality plastic, it can leach. Um, I put some essential high quality um, guaranteed to be okay to take internally essential oils. Not all essential oils can be taken internally, so you have to be careful there. Just something to add some flavor. I have made um, lemon coconut, lemon coconut, what did I do? Oh, cucumber water 
made that and then poured it in here. Um, just do something to flavor up your water without adding a lot of sugar or anything like that. There are a lot of things you can do to change the taste of water. But I'll tell you something, once you've started drinking good quality water and your body's used to it, I'll bet you're not gonna mind the taste anymore. In fact, I don't even think water has a taste, but you know what I mean. Um, but high quality water and enough of it. Take your body weight, divide it by two, and that's how many ounces you need to get in of pure water. Um, anything else is just kind of extra. I mean, if you talk to nutritionists, some nutritionists will say even iced tea or, or green tea or something like that does not count because they do have some dehydrating effects. They'll say only pure water. I don't know if I'm going to be that picky. If I have some, some decent uh, hot tea or iced tea, I'm probably going to count that at least a little bit, but I do try to get in my pure water. So hope that helps someone. And if you haven't been drinking much water or any water, please, please start. Talk to you later. I'll see you on Wednesday for spiritual health.